beautiful, doesn't she, Bob? Yeah, she, she, she sure does. Yeah. Is, is she going to take your name, Whitey? Uh, kind of confusing to have two Whiteys in the household. <laughs> Especially since that's what we're going to name the kids. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that, that was a dumb question. Yeah, it's OK. Hey, listen, thanks for letting us have the wedding in your house. Well, you know, I kind of feel responsible for the whole engagement. What was it, last? Uh, that's Christmas, right? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, I hope there's, hope there's still room in the collection box for two more gifts for those sweet little orphans. <laughs> there's, there's no toys for the children in here. No toys at all. Not even the ones I brought in yesterday. <laughs> I am shocked. People shocked. A little bit of giving, a little caring. Uh, is that asking too much? Do you know what an orphan is? A kid with no parents? Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Daddy, good. I'm glad you're here. I know you brought something for the kids. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, I, I did. Um, Half a box of milk duds in your car keys? <laughs> well, I had, I had every intention of, of, you know, getting getting something for them. And these children had every intention of having parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob. Uh, listen, you got a minute? I got a big problem, and I got to talk to you about it right here, right now. Sure, Mighty, what's up? Hang on a second. <laughs> here. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't have time to wrap it. Jeez, I hope you don't think I don't care. Oh, I thank you, Whitey. Oh, the orphans thank you. And the orphans' parents would thank you. Except they don't have any. <laughs> I got them a big new box of milk duds. <laughs> Giant movie theater size. <laughs> the guy said they, they don't make those anymore. <laughs> Why do you, you, you have some kind of problem? Oh, yeah. Uh, should we use your office? Well, we're all friends here. We have no secrets, you know. If, uh, un unless you're uh, uncomfortable, we can talk about it right here. OK. Um, Bob, you ever been in love? Why don't we go inside? <laughs> I'm in love, Bob. Well, you've heard me talk about Vita. She works on the newspaper back home in Missouri. Well, she's coming in for the Christmas party this afternoon. And, and you love her. What's, what's the problem? Well, it's like I almost don't want to see her because, well, it just hurts too much when she has to go. You know what I mean? I mean, I just, I just, I don't want to be apart from Vita ever again, Bob. I just, I just get so lonely for her. Well, you could, you could ask her to marry you. Okay, Bob, I'll ask her this afternoon. Wait, 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 Whitey! Whitey, wait! Whitey, wait! Yeah, Bob? Well, don't, don't marry her just be, because I told you to. Hey, I trust you. What? Whitey, don't you think you ought to think about this for a while? <laughs> no, I made up my mind, Bob. As my wise old grandfather, Red Vanderbunch, used to say, I've made up my mind. <laughs> Oh, he was truly a great man. I wish I could have met him. Let it go, Bob. He's dead. <laughs> oh, man, I I'm going to need a ring. Um, hey, hey, you, you want to come help me pick one out? Um, uh, me? Oh, yeah, this was your idea. <laughs> oh, come on, Bob, I need you there. Jeez, when I walk into one of them stores, it's like being in one of those cartoons. I mean, my head just turns into this great big sucker. And I can't ever picture your head doing that. It, it seldom, seldom does. Uh, actually, I'm, uh, I'm known as a pretty hard-nosed negotiator. <laughs> you are a negotiator, Bob? A good salesman would eat you alive. How do you explain the fact that I got two of these sweaters for the price of one? They were having a sale? Yeah, and I read about it, and I went there. <clears throat> uh, 
<laughs> so don't mistake me for a sucker. Okay? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm buying an engagement ring for Whitey. Boy, you live in the city long enough, nothing surprises you. Hi, I'll be right with you. Thank you. All right. Remember, we're here to get a deal. That man is the enemy. We show no mercy and we have no shame. Shouldn't, shouldn't we have a little shame? I mean, you know, I mean, he is, you know, he is going out of business. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be tough. Come on, going out of business signs are a ploy to suck losers like you into believing that what they're getting is a great price when what they're really getting is the shaft. Oh. Well, then it works. <laughs> Remember, just let me do all the talking, okay? Just be quiet. No talking. <laughs> How are you today, sir? My friend here might be interested in uh, buying an engagement ring for his fiance. What kind of ring are you thinking of, sir? <laughs> I said, what kind of ring are you thinking of? I say something, he's looking right at me. Just tell him what kind of a ring you want. Oh. Well, whatever you think is best. Shoot, I don't even know what I like. Well, um... How do you think your fiancé would like this? Let's get out of here. This guy's not even serious. <laughs> beautiful ring I've ever seen. Fina would love this. Listen, listen, I, I, I gotta have this ring. I, I don't care what it costs. <clears throat> and that's our best offer. <laughs> Come on, you gotta stick it to this swindler. That guy makes more money in one week than you make in five years. Grandpa? Mm hmm I'm awfully hungry. Will there be any lunch today? Oh, I'm so sorry, my darling. But there's only enough for supper. <laughs> oh, this guy is good. <laughs> Listen, if you want to move this ring, you're going to have to knock 40% off that tag. And eat my two rooms with what? I'll take off 10%. 40. 10. 40. 20. 40. 30. 40. All right, 40. <laughs> that was fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh, oh, you didn't. Oh, honey, you're so sweet, let me see. Uh, it's it's a surprise, so you you're gonna have to wait until Christmas. No. Thanks a lot, Woody. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Bob. <clears throat> you uh you busy at lunch tomorrow? <laughs> I'm yours, big guy. <laughs> You know, there's a bunch of kids and nuns down there, and I think they want something. Already? Gee, they weren't supposed to be here for, well, five minutes ago. OK, OK. All finished. You wrapped my stapler. <laughs> Orphans have stapling needs. <laughs> You're not really gonna wear that. I'm an elf. Well, I mean, they weren't gonna buy me a Santa. Well, I, I, I don't see elf in this. You look more like Robin Hood. <laughs> Robin Hood? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Besides, they're never gonna know. They're just kids. You started. <laughs> Hello, Whitey. Peter? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Peter's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> Said that wasn't funny. There are nuns in this building, you know. Sorry, baby. Oh, look at this, isn't that beautiful? Jeez, I could just kick myself for thinking that was another man's child. You're the only man for me. <laughs> oh, hey, Bob, uh, this here's my girl, Vita. Vita, it's my boss, Bob. Uh, this here's the guy I told you. Reminds me so much of Grandpa Red Vanderbunt. Do you have that same great way with words that Red had? I, I don't know about that. Wow. Um, uh, anyway, uh, Vita, <clears throat> listen, I've been, I've been thinking, um, <laughs> now, uh, you and I have been seeing each other for, for quite a while, right? And, um, um, well, can you hang on a second? Just wait right here. Bob, where is it? Where's the ring? You have it, Whitey. No, I don't. Where is it? Okay, 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 calm down, calm down, Whitey. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, now, as Grandpa Red used to say, you can always find something if you look for it. <laughs> oh my God, I say that. <laughs> just, 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 just hang on a second, honey. I'll, I'll be right with you. What did I do, Bob? I left it, I left it right here. It's right here on the desk, right, right here where Kay was wrapping those presents for the orphans. Oh, Willikers! <laughs> and here's a small box for Jimmy. But remember, Jimmy, good things come in small packages. <laughs> that elf is really pushing it. <laughs>《Oh, uh, oh, he, uh, he stepped out uh, for a second to the, the orphan's party. — Orphan's party? I'm an orphan. <laughs> — No kidding. Isn't that great? <laughs> — Honey, I'm, uh, I'm going downstairs for a minute. Uh, keep Vita busy. Uh, — Bob, what do you mean, keep Vita busy? — Make conversation. — So... You're an orphan, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, actually, there's kind of a funny story connected with that. <laughs> hey, Bob, look at those kids out here. Gosh, so many of them. 
so little and so happy. One of them's got my ring. <laughs> Whitey, uh, maybe you ought to let me take care of this. You know, you're you're awfully worked up and you're you're awfully big, and I'm just afraid. Did you ever see a mice and men? Yeah? <laughs> That's some funny movie. Yeah. Uh, son, would you let me see your present? No. Come on, come on, show Uncle Bob your present. No! Uh, how about if I, I give you 10 bucks? Some, someone gave you a, a stapler for Christmas? No, somebody gave me 10 bucks. <laughs> Where did Whitey go? Is he avoiding me? I, I think he, he was trying to tell me something. Oh, God. He's going to break up with me, isn't he? Yes, Vita, he is. <laughs> what did you tell her that for? For Whitey. Now it'll be that much more of a surprise. <laughs> I don't know. I wrapped a lot of things. Why do you just keep looking? I gotta find it, Bob. I gotta. Jesus, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. I mean, I, I, I spent six months' salary on... Hey, Play-Doh! <laughs> oh, man, look at this. I used to love this stuff as a kid. Whitey, we're here to find your ring. Well, it does take you back, though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's because we've grown apart. He just, he doesn't know how to break it to me. I can't expect what held us together in high school to survive all this time apart. We've changed. We've grown. Not necessarily. <laughs> they say absence makes the heart grow fonder. No, they, they should say absence makes the heart grow not fonder. Yeah, that'd be a good saying, all right. <laughs> Look, Vita, honey, I... I can't watch you suffer like this. Let's go talk to Whitey. He's got to tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth. Whitey and I were married yesterday. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you, it's going to be a hell of a surprise. <laughs> I think it's time you told Vita what's on your mind. Oh, Vita. <laughs> No, no, no. It's no, this, uh, this was supposed to be a wonderful surprise. Really, this is this is supposed to be all so smooth and perfect, but oh look. What happened is I went and I lost. Look everyone, I got a beautiful sparkly ring. Vita, don't move. Thank you, Robin Hood. You uh you really like that ring, little girl? I love it. It's so pretty. It makes me feel pretty. Yeah, it uh, sure is pretty. Well, look, you just enjoy it here. Whitey, what are you doing with your ring? Oh, I never could hurt women. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. What, what's your name? Amelia. Look what I got. I know. I saw it. Matter of fact, it, it made me come over here and, and ask you a question. Um, have you ever, in, in your whole life, ever made a mistake? You're right. It is none of my business. <laughs> What, what, what I'm trying to say is that, that a mistake was made here today when, when you got that package. That, that present, well, it, it really belongs to, to someone else. You're going to take my ring away, aren't you? Oh, don't, don't look at it that way. Uh, 
I, I'm going to give you a, a bigger and a, and a better present. Uh, Tricia, what's, what's left in the bag for Amelia? Nothing down tapped. Oh, fudge. Um, Amelia, do you, uh, do, do you like this? Wow, it's a lot bigger than mine, and the stone is blue, my favorite color. Yeah, it's, it's my high school class ring. It's a, that year we won the state football championship. You played football? I'm, I'm really fast. <laughs> But, you know, I'm, I'm always losing this, so if you take it, I'll always know where it is. Hey, Whitey, what the hell is Bob doing? He's giving her the ring off his own finger. Bob, let me at her. I can talk her down. <laughs> Whitey, here, here it is. The, the rest is up to you. Yeah, um, okay. Well, what do you say? Will you marry me? Yes! Yes, what do you Oh, yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Everybody, Sister LaTerry tells me that the children have something that they'd like to give us now. Do you have a ring to show a symbol of your love? 